Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. There are some remarks William Ruto made touching on the law. In this video, I want us to have a look at those remarks for they are going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion right now. We do not exist to obey the law. The law exists to serve us. If it is not serving us, we change it. If we cannot change, we repeal. William Ruto, 11th October, 2022. That's William Ruto. I want us to put those remarks to perspective to see exactly what William Ruto means and his ultimate goal by changing or repealing the law. If you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. Those remarks by William Ruto should not be taken lightly. As much as William Ruto might try to be seen as if he's referring to miscellaneous law amendments, William Ruto's ultimate goal here is to get power and get power in totality. Those remarks show clearly William Ruto is not comfortable with the existing law. He is not comfortable with the constitution as it is. William Ruto is mulling of a possibility of amending the constitution. And he wants to amend that constitution to give himself more power as the president or even to change the two-term presidential limits. I'm seeing a William Ruto who believes the, the constitution as it is is limiting him from doing what he wants to do. Yes, <laughs> the existing law is hindering him from doing what he wants to do. So Ruto wants to amend that constitution to give himself more power. And if possible, to make sure he does not relinquish the power he currently has as the president. And that only means he can change the constitution. He can remove the two-term presidential limits. That's one thing I'm seeing here. And then secondly, I'm seeing a William Ruto who wants himself, his word, to be law. And that's final. Either you agree with him or not. Ruto wants his word to be final. And in that, in that thinking, I'm seeing a William Ruto is cleverly trying to intimidate the judiciary, trying to threaten the judiciary to appoint. No judge will be brave enough to make any ruling that goes contrary to the government's position. As judges, you are free or you can do whatever you want to do but you know that the government's position is the law. So in other words, I'm seeing a William Ruto who is just trying to set himself up to disobey court orders. And we used to see that largely in Ruto's first term in government when court orders were being disobeyed. And the good... <laughs> A very good example is the Miguna Miguna case where the court actually issued some rulings but the government at that time disobeyed that. So I'm seeing a William Ruto. If you are to dig uh, deep into those remarks, I'm seeing a William Ruto just setting himself up to disobey court orders or is setting himself up to intimidate the judiciary to appoint no judge will give a contrary, or rather will give a ruling that goes contrary to the position of the government. 
That's also something I'm seeing here. And now looking at William Ruto as the president, I also believe that as the president or a leader, integrity should also form the basis of a leader's actually traits and maybe demeanor. When William Ruto was campaigning, he was con constantly attacking his political rivals and branding them both people who are just looking for power, for positions. And he was constantly asking the masses, the people, Ni Kateba ama ni Uchumi. And the poor masses could say Uchumi. So William Ruto meant that upon being elected the president, he was going to make sure he put in place measures that were going to make life bearable for the common man. But now as the president, he is mulling of changing the law. That Uchumi, he was asking Kenyans. And at the same time, he has failed to put in place measures that can cushion the hustlers from the harsh economic times. So that also just exposes Ruto as a lying president. And that's a very serious issue that should not be taken lightly. Kenyans should not be pressing and encouraging a lying president. That's a matter of integrity. William Ruto is showing, is proving to the whole world that he fails leadership and integrity as the president. Because when he was campaigning, he was telling the Kenyans that he was going to uplift, rather to make life bearable for them. Right now he's talking about amending or changing the law to suit maybe his whims. That exposes Ruto as a line president. And then if you look at William Ruto, I also believe William Ruto has a problem with the existing laws in that it creates a lot of democratic spaces. William Ruto has a nostalgic feeling, or rather just a nostalgia of the Kanu days when the president was an imperial president, very powerful. A president nobody could challenge. I'm seeing William Ruto is nostalgic of those kind of days. So he wants to make sure that maybe a law is put in place to reduce or to stifle this democratic space Kenyans are currently enjoying. And I'm saying that because if you look at William Ruto, especially before he was elected the president, and I honestly believe that for somebody to change, maybe it's not easy for people to change. William Ruto was painting a picture of a leader who never condoned criticism. And I still remember him taking on Eugene Wamalwa and Charity Ngilu directly. I believe that's the same same William Ruto as the president. William Ruto does not condone criticism. Right now is only that maybe he has not settled in office properly. Upon William Ruto settling in office, I'm seeing a high possibility where William Ruto will not condone any form or kind of criticism. And that's why he is smiling of changing the law to suit his whims. Yes. Those are things I'm, say I'm seeing here. And I'm saying them with a lot of confidence because even before William Ruto was elected the president, in this forum I used to say that should William Ruto win the presidency, he will not be able to fight corruption. And in the 30 days that William Ruto has been has served as the president, he has shown clearly all he is not able to fight corruption because we are seeing corruption cases being dropped at a very at an alarming rate. 
corruption cases are being dropped. An indication, William Ruto is not willing, not ready, and not capable of fighting corruption. So as William Ruto settles in office, I'm also seeing a possibility where he will, he will try to change the law to give himself more powers and to make sure he holds on to that power, not to relinquish that power. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you, God bless Kenya. To any other person who wants over chatter discussion or to share information with me or even to support this channel, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to send a contribution or support to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis.